Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. A slightly different YouTube video this week, because what I'm going to look at and discuss is SatMap and the options for SatMap users. If people don't know, SatMap is a British brand, or was a British brand of GPS manufacturers. Uh, really um, stole the marketplace what, a decade ago now, where they were the first GPS units to have what we call Ordnance Survey Maps, which is the maps that we use in the UK. And over, over the years, there have been various GPS units, Active 10, Active 12, and then finally the Active 20. Hugely popular GPS unit. And again, it took a little while for Garmin to catch up and produce a GPS unit with Ordnance Survey Maps on um, to the same extent uh, with SatMap. Now, if people don't know, sadly, SatMap um, went bankrupt um, or stopped, ceased trading, selling GPS units. Um, just over just over a year ago now we actually broke it in our august gps training podcast i'll put a link down below to that podcast and i actually broke it i'm not someone who wants to scare monger people but we got a lot of customers ringing up or sat map customers ringing up asking them what was going on so we thought it was the honorable thing to do to say tell the world what was going on regarding sat map we had actually learned about it earlier on in the year uh, but we thought it best to keep our our mouth shut until they made an official announcement and uh, we, by August time we, we felt we had to do that just to uh, help customers um, with making decisions when they're purchasing GPS units and then SatMap a number of uh, months later broke it uh, to the public that sadly they were having to cease trade. So we get a lot of customers who are ringing up with SatMap GPS units and wanting to convert over to a Garmin GPS unit. And I'm saying what I'm going to say to you guys now to these people, and I'm having this conversation three or four times a week. I'm saying to you, SatMap users, if your SatMap is in working order and there's nothing wrong with it, keep your SatMap GPS unit until it ceases to, to work. A lot of people are feeling that, going, all right, now SatMap are out of the equation. Um, I, need to, I need to change to a Garmin GPS unit. And what it is, is it's like pushing somebody or it's like convincing somebody who's a Mac user to a PC is better. Or if somebody's an Android phone user that an iPhone is better. What those people do, right, is tell you everything that's wrong with it. So I'm an Apple user and give me a PC, even though I can use one. I'll tell you everything that's wrong with the PC compared to a Mac. My wife who's an Android user on a phone will tell me everything that's wrong with my iPhone compared to her Android phone. Unless you're a SatMap user who's had enough of SatMap and are ready to get yourself over to the dark side, which is common, don't do it. That's what I say, don't do it. Keep all your SatMap, it's still working with you. Expedition software, which is a root plane software with that SatMap use, is still working. Um, that's been sold off as a separate business and the people there are still working it. It still works, they've still got updates and everything. Continue to use it until you're at a stage that this stops working, the battery, stops working, this is some of the problems people come across, the battery's not holding any charge, and you've had enough of it, and you're ready to cast it to one side and come over to a Garmin. Now, most SatMap users are coming over to a Montana 700, that's why I'm holding that up to the camera, Garmin Montana 700 large screen GPS unit. Most SatMap users, I would say 80, 85% are coming over to this because it's a large screen GPS unit, and that's what they're being used to with their sat map. Another couple of things I'm mentioning when I'm doing correspondence with these people is, just be aware that the sat map navigation experience was okay, you know, it made a, 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 a line on the map of you plan your routes, um, but the actually following narrow the navigation experience wasn't as good as what we find on the sat map. So most, sorry, as a Garmin, sorry. So most sat map users move, use their, GPS units, there's a moving map, and there's nothing wrong with that. Use their GPS with the moving map, and therefore they rightly judged it on that map page, which is a HD map. What you'll find with the Garmin is the navigation experience, as you've seen in my walk and talk videos with a Garmin, is completely different. E.g., we've got an arrow we follow at the top, or we follow a big arrow on the on the um, on the on the compass page, as we would call it. And the navigation experience is by far superior on a Garmin. So the map quality is far um, less important than what it was on a sat map. So there's a few little um, differences uh, with that. So Garmin are 
relatively expensive as well. But again, no more expensive than what your satellite was, but people are having to invest that in, 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 the, um, in, in, the new, in the new product. Also, other question we get asked an awful lot from sat map users is, are your maps transferable onto a Garmin? Sadly, the answer is no, so you've got to start again from scratch. So, really, just a short video to say, keep you, if you're a sat map user and you're happy with your sat map, keep using it, keep using it until the day it dies, which might be a six months time, might be a year's time, might be three years time, or, to, or, or you're fed up with your sat map, you're fed up with the sat map, um, you know, you're one of these people who wants to transition into the Garmin. You've got to have everything into it. Transition to the Garmin will work. Because again, it's like if you're a PC user, I give you a Mac and tell you you're going to start using your Mac. You're going to struggle for the first few months until you get head around a completely different operating system, completely different navigation experience that we get on a Garmin compared to a sat map. So don't feel you're going to rush into it. If you are ready for that transition, don't forget, we'll do a trading of your sat map. Again, if you are wanting to trade it in, it's better to do it sooner rather than later. The price of secondhand sat maps are slowly going down. So again, if you are wanting to do it, get in touch with ourselves, we'll give you a trading price for it. But other things that bear in mind as well is, because they've stopped being made, there's no map cards as well. So even if your sat map has gone to the, uh, uh, the GPS heaven up there, it's, it's, it's stopped working, your map card will have some residual value as well in the second hand market. Whether you sell it yourself on eBay or we'll take it as a trade and something like that. Because we're getting a few sat maps in as trade-ins without map cards and we're kind of looking for the map cards. Again, overseas map cards, don't, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna make a million pounds at this, you're gonna make a few tens of pounds for overseas map cards, because sat map users are looking for a, a map card of Spain or the Pyrenees or wherever they're going on the holiday. So there's a little bit of value in there, again, not massive value in it. So just think of those things, if you've got spare batteries, if you've got the AA battery adapter, there's a little bit of value in there. Not a massive amount, again, offsetting your G, new GPS unit, it's not, it's not, it's gonna be a, a few percentage, it's not even going to be 10% of it, maybe um, if we got 10% value in, on, on parts and accessories, we would be lucky. So I'm not going to promise you the world, but just something uh, to bear in mind. So I very much hope it helps. It's a slightly different YouTube film, but I thought I'd just discuss this subject of um, SatMap users, you know what you're going to do. Keep using your SatMap until it's not working, or alternatively, you're ready to transition over to a Garmin, because it is like picking up a completely different operating system. I'll see, leave some links below to uh, get the trading value if you want to do trading in your sat map. I'll do a couple of links to the various walk and talks. But again, still a nice GPS unit. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite hard. Um, sadly, nobody at the end of the for a sat map. So we are speaking to a lot of sat map users who are wanting to uh, wanting to change over. So if we can help in any way here at GPS training, please do get in touch. And again, many thanks for watching this week's uh, YouTube video from ourselves, hopefully back to normal uh, with a, a bit more of a techie video next week.